eyes open. Come in, Terry. You have papers? I should always get right down to business. Come in and sit down. Let's talk. How are you feeling? You're a little worried about your all oh, these moments of weakness, illness. Do you want to talk? Do you, what do you want to talk about the film, Manor? No. It kind of just me. I was really into the media coverage of the incidents at the time. This client of yours, the one who wants to fight me, what does he know about it? Well, he has interest in the occult and some nonsense story going around about it. Something about the idol being a vessel for an evil ghost. I wasn't really paying attention. Really? Don't remember hearing that, any of that in any of the reports. Nah, you would. Oops. Have you heard the story that the story that Toby was in the house? I could feel the cold sweat be drooling down my spine. Every fibre of my being was concentrating on not giving any outward signs of alarm as Saddam spoke of my secret name with wide-eyed enthusiasm. No one believes you, but Simon Simone insisted it was true right up until, well, you know. She says he saved her from the house. I feel that's a little far-fetched. That's actually what a bed says. It says a ghost is one thing, but throwing Toby makes it all seem rather silly. Should be told, I don't think a bed believes in Toby anymore than he believes in ghosts. He's so grounded in reality. Sense of gratitude. Have you, have you always been an antique dealer? So far, please, I've come here to talk about... Let me put it another way. Have you ever been an antique dealer? I know it. The outfit, the hat. You're him. You in Defoe Manor. And now you come here to finish the ghost. Savon, I always knew there was something else. In this world there's something better, more glamorous just below the surface. Will you take me with you? Listen to me. There's nothing glamorous about what I do. I live in the cells that threaten to consume me every day. And if you pursue this any further, you walk straight into one. But what are you talking about? There's something extremely dangerous in this hotel. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, so No. Savannah was out cold but uninjured. She would probably be safe in her own bed while I continued my investigation. <laughs> Under the circumstances, Savannah would probably wouldn't mind. A few textbooks, a half empty bottle, bottle, and a large photo marked on Mali family history. This, I just said it was my quarry. I flipped through the pages and so I reached the information relevant to the 18th century. I read my discoveries out aloud. The Liverpool base of Mali Shipping Company ran for three generations of the, of the family in mid to late 18th century until the loss of one of their ship clippers drove the company to bankruptcy. The owner of the time, Jacob Omani, placed the blame on somewhat irrationally on a shipping crate that was a family alleged to be haunted and had been on the ship at the time. There are numerous tales of bizarre events surrounding the crate and the story of the crate's origin is no less mysterious. Because that, because that strange young man came to a carpenter's Liverpool dock, dockyards in a very expensive looking harpsichord which he insisted be smashed up and would use for whatever purpose the character desired. 
He refused to leave until the instruments had been dis broken into his component parts in front of his eyes and word sent to may be made in the crater or Marley's shipping. And press for name, the man identified himself as Jack Fellow for Hall. We want to check for on. July 28th, AD 1778. So, what trifle have you been wasting your father's money on this time? What does it look like? It looks like a virtual. A hard to call that sleeve. Flemish style. Quite old, quite exquisite. It's a possibility to break uh, something distracted you from your coat, coat for once. I fear you may be speaking too soon, my friend. Oh god, I should have, should have known. You and your silly obsession. So what devil inherits this magnificent instrument? The instrument as a whole is for the most part untainted by the ethereal realm. But its keys are what spark my interest. Music that have been crafted from centuries old English rogue. And that's inter the interesting part. I will not be disheartened by that sharp tongue of yours. The world has gone through many incarnations before being incorporated into this device. Items of furniture, building material, in fact, over 200 years ago, it was part of a wall. A wall was just an inn or a well traversed wall road in Wales. Unicorn? I so pleased you remember. I could hardly forget it the way you have been obsessing quite heartily over it of late. The correspondence persists in filling your head with rubbish about ghosts and demons. I got myself very lucky to have tracked down the, in a small piece of the host. I know I've been I've already told you about some of his wonderful stories attached to it. And his instrument has had the fair share of mysterious happenings. The usual bass of strange noises, sudden madness, and inexplicable deaths. See sense, my friend. This curiosity of yours for all things ungodly have no doubt already befouled your immortal soul. I am fine, fellow Wilbur. But you have not a drop of romance in your body. Now stop the proud bit of me for inquiring and let's go take dinner. That night, Jack was stirred from his bed by the sound of music emanating from his new instrument. His first thought was, that, was anger, mostly because his house of antique never intended to be played. He listened to the haunting melody and tune, melancholy tune, as his stomach sank. Stomach rolled inexplicably with fear. Who's down there? To come with him to come to come with the intruder. The man could take some, not to take a step further because he realised with alert that he had recognised the dark figure that sat at the tables at the keys. He read a bit of the strange incident that recurred frequently in the stories we're going. The unicorn in and the objects that were later constructed from his wood. He knew as we should see that the tall man would destroy him, but he not destroy it first. You won't take me, demon! Well, what? No. My god, no! I, but I could have sworn! You, I know you. You have, you have. Oh God, please forgive me, your, your Majesty, for all my transgressions. I am like a scraper of food, not working a second of your precious time. I beg you, spare me, and redeem myself from my events. It will be forever yours, my body, mind, and soul. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. And identified himself as one Jack Ballon. The main saint. 
This may have the same Jack Ballon who went on to form the Brazil with his court to the Pride group of pagan worthless who spoken of this to his mayor. My latest flashback, my knowledge of the of the history history of the cursed world gained me another step. Before the creator had been a house god and they had some temple of that here before the house of god he had been a part of a kind of holder in Wales. An ink or the unicorn? Why don't why don't I ring a bell somewhere in my recent memory? I definitely had seen something in the hotel that was linked to the place where Savon? Fifty-three. For Horn. The bird finder with high judgment was for Horn, brought from those who made luxuries with the wood that, that was the prince's soul. The prince came and struck down the lover forlorn, and forlorn knew the name of the king. And forlorn said, I know you, O prince, who was the who was the argument, and I appreciate your wish, and I will devote myself to spreading the teachings you have brought me, and the law of our king. And our prince was satisfied and forlorn, called all those who would listen, and formed the other the blessed agonies that would work, work to redeem the follies of man of technology. To go and build, was he funny exactly? But he did not. To any concern, I realized that the decay of the hotel, the hotel spread further to me or the pill, or to me the pills, the no longer worked. I find a way to restore the, the effect, or at least to the bottom level of calming myself. So, on the west, I heard the familiar sound of a door being unlocked. Men. A whole body top and his soul was still lying on the central. His limbs await oddly from spasms of agony. Tore off a lump of the meat to take with me. If I came across anything hostile and cannabis in this place, I would, it would help to have something other than myself to offer it. These two interviews have met a sticky end down here. One of them had been picked completely clean by the basils. The other, if noticed, was heavily decayed except for his hand, which was fresh and pink. I wonder if it has something to do with the pool of water that was lying in.
You say, I must have to go out to this drawing, Mike. Draw me to it. Not that scrubbing scrubbing thing in the back of my mind like the chisel or the painting. But more like a Beckman siren. I couldn't help myself with crowds and just my hand in. It felt uncomfortably refreshing. I brought this amount up to my lips. My unhygienic surroundings forgotten. As a present feeling, feeling of my stim stimulus, coolness, stim stimulus, coolness, and warmth spread through my mouth, so I realized that the water had some sort of regenerative effect. I had no explanation for this, but at the time I didn't care. This wind the field in the back of my mind, the familiar ticking station that would indicated a reality shift, so I quickly scooped a few drops of the water into my pill bottle, circling around fully. The remaining pills. It was a recent venture, it's not not an unpleasant one. So no reason to take it. Terry, it's you. Have you seen Savon? It's about to ask you that. What did he do to the girl? I hope you intend to seduce her away from my service. I bet I need you to understand. You and I and Savon were all in critical danger. There's something evil in this hotel and it's closing in fast. Mr. Wilby, I've been over this hotel several times. Apart from us, there's been no one here. Keep your fairy stories in the playground where they belong. 